up y'all it's your girl on casual ttv and i'm back with another video do a video on my most scariest moment in my life how sweet dark meat um stay tuned for this video hopefully you guys like it so to start um my parents split and my mom decided to move us to another part of Brooklyn. So I was around 14, 14 around the time, or 13, whichever one. Um, so we moved to Brownsville. Damn! And I never went to go check out the apartment. My sister went with my mother. So at this time, my mother decided that this was the apartment we were going to move to and we were going to move in. So my sister went with my mother to view the apartment and I remember my sister calling me like sneak or like I hate it like when we were there we had to run and hide and I'm like what? She was like I was, I was so scared so now being the younger sister this was like my influencer. So when she told me this, I'm like, she's scared? What the heck? It must be something bad. So she told me that people were shooting. And I'm like, what? I said what I said. No. So we moved to Brownsville. Um, I'm not going to say the address exactly. But it was probably the worst part of Brownsville you can live in. And, um... I didn't like the area because there was always a lot of guys who will hold your hand when you're walking. You can walk past them and they'll grab your hand or they'll follow you to wherever you wanted to go. The um, It was near the three train in Brooklyn. Um, and going to the train used to be scary. It just was so many scary things about it. When we first moved over there, a Justin was it was a little different like I met a girl who she was really cool we're still friends um shout out to her Lakeisha hey um so um we were there maybe like a week and my sister had me petrified of living here and she said that well we had our own room we lived downstairs and she told me that um, she was going to make it safer for us. So I listened to her. And um, we started sleeping in the same room with each other because we were that scared. And so one day, she put a pole up to the window. And she was explaining to me that um, in case people want to break in, we're going to be good. Um... This pole was going to keep it safe. It kept, like, kept the um, window from being able to slide. Because you open the window like this, right? So, um, one day she was telling me about it. Like, oh, this is going to keep it safe. And it's going to block it. And then we had a back door. Like, we were able to come in and out um, of one of the bedrooms. So... My sister's like, okay, so we're going to put this pole up. And if anything happens, like, we're going to hear the pole. So one day, I was sleeping what was her room. So I was in her room sleeping because it was, like, the safest thing to do to sleep with each other. So um, I was knocked out. And then next thing I know, I heard the pole drop. So... <laughs> In my head, I'm like, okay, see, this is what my sister said. She said, if you ever hit a pole drop, life is ending, run, right? So, I heard the pole drop, and I knew I was not going to be no white girl in a horror movie. Like, this pole is dropping, and I'm out, right? So, um, I was asleep. I woke up. I heard the pole drop. So now I go into full panic mode. Adrenaline is way high. So what I did, I crawled and ran up out of there. 
and I jetted up the stairs and I remember going inside my mom's room and start crying. Now, during this time, I can hear a voice. Like I was hearing a voice and I'm like, what is going on in my life? Come to find out, it was actually my sister. Yeah, so my sister was adjusting the pole. So with adjusting the pole, she dropped the pole. So her dropping the pole woke me up, sent me flying up the stairs, not even realizing that it was her calling me. So she was calling me saying, sneak or sneak or no, don't run. I dropped the pole by accident. And I'm like, yo, this girl here. I remember just crying my eyes out and she was laughing like there was no tomorrow. Like, and then living there, it just, I realized that things were just getting worse. Like, so one time, um, I think me, it was just me and my sister at home. And there was, there was a guy who sat on the stairs where I was sitting. So we were, we lived in an apartment. So I was sitting um, on the stairs right before my door. And I remember sitting there and this guy just started robbing this guy at gunpoint. And I'm like, what the heck? So I roll myself back into the house and I'm like, yo, where do we live? Like, it was the scariest thing. But, like, um, besides the fact with the, um, with the guy being robbed, like, I was, I couldn't believe I was sitting there and a guy just pulled a gun out on the next person. And all I could think is I got this name chain on my neck and they were going to get me as well. Like, this was the worst thing ever. Um, so we lived in Brownsville for maybe three years and then my mom decided to move us to Queens. Throughout that time of living there, I kept telling my mother like, I don't wanna live here no more. I don't wanna be here. Like I was trying to get my dad to come and get me and my sister so we could move in with him. Like I could not believe what my mother moved us to. But during this time, this was her getaway this was helping her heal, and we didn't really understand that. All we knew was my mother moved us to somewhere dangerous, and we were going to die. Like, I couldn't believe how scared I was, man. Like, to this day, my sister would make fun of me, and she would tell everybody the story. You remember that time when I dropped the pole and you went running? And I'm like, it was, It really wasn't that funny. Like, you can, you can stop sharing the story. Like. I like mm, not that long ago she was telling a story. My sister's psychotic. Like growing up with her has been really interesting. But nothing made me more scared than the fact that I thought that I would die. Like living in Brownsville was the I think it's the worst of my memories. Like like I was on a train one day and then this homeless guy came in and I'm just like, oh my God, I done moved. Now I'm taking trains, I'm taking buses. I'm, I was so used to my parents just driving us everywhere. But now I'm taking buses and trains. So this homeless guy got on a train and he started staring at me. Now I'm sitting on the other side and I'm like, oh my God, I, I'm too scared to walk through the doors and so I sit there. Next thing I know, this guy's staring at me. So I'm like, what does this guy want? He takes his penis out. And all I could think was, what in the world? Um, it was just the worst story. Like, it was the worst day. Worst day ever. Um, so hopefully you guys like this little story. You know, a little story time. This was something short that I put together, um, short little video, um, don't forget to watch my other videos and like, like the video if you have a YouTube, I realize that a lot of people don't even have YouTube, but, um, I'm glad you guys are watching, um, 
my first day of beauty con video really got more views than I expected which I'm pretty happy for and at this point I want to try to have like a thousand subscribers before the year ends like that's my goal um, 500 would be cute but I'm gonna reach reach far right now and I'm gonna go for 100 subscribers so Thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for more videos.